Okay, so here we are, a uh, video to help you know a little bit about using Google Drive coaching. And the reason I included that picture there is to just try to, again, <clears throat> emphasize the point that coaching is something designed to help you, help you grow, help you get more ability. And that is the man, John Spencer, that was my football coach in college and he helped me learn a lot about playing football in college and just life in general. So here we go. <clears throat> to get to Google Drive, the best place to do is to go to the main FCPS webpage. You see it right there. You have the address there, www.fcps.edu. And then at the top, you see the little menu selection that's been kind of highlighted in yellow called G Suite. That does give you access to the Google Drive. Now, if you're already logged into your Google account, it might open up right to Google Drive. But if it does not, when you click on that link, it's going to ask you to sign in with your student uh, ID, which is your student number at scpsschools.net and your password. So just do that. And when you do, it should look something like this. This will be your main Google Drive page. And on the left, you see the drive symbol with the word drive. It's highlighted there. And on the right, you'll note it's your FCPS, Fairfax County Public Schools Google Drive, if you see that little Fairfax County logo there on the right. Now, once you're there, we seriously recommend as an extra way to get to it, you bookmark the page when you get there. You just go to the web address place at the top and you click on that star that's highlighted it might turn it yellow, I'm not sure. Then you get to where you'll still use the main FCPS web page on your bookmark page. But when you click on that, it'll give you the little menu that you see down below at the bottom of this page. <clears throat> and you'll see this thing that says folder. And you'll try to navigate to bookmark bar with the little drop down, upside down triangle. And you'll click on, you'll move it to bookmark bar. And then when you click done, then it will be in the bookmark bar that'll be easy for you to find. Now, there are some important things once you're on FCPS Google Drive. So the topics are gonna to be drives, what they are and where they are, documents that are shared with you and starred documents that can help you find things. So on the left of that main page, the left of your main Google Drive page, you see up here at the top, it's Google Drive, that this is a link for your own drive. This one right here. And then the one below that is for shared drives. If anybody has shared a drive with you, the shared drives links will take you to all of those shared drives. Now, this link takes you to documents that have been shared with you by someone else. This is where you would look if a classmate shared their work document with you with permission from the teacher when you're collaborating on an assignment. And this is where you will go to get a list of your starred documents, your starred documents that are important. Now, the next page is we're going to give you some coaching on starring actual documents. So the little picture at the top left shows you the bottom of this whole big menu. And you see that we highlighted the starred part. Now, if you click on that, it's going to give you a new list to your right on your screen. It's going to be only the starred things. Now, you can star folders like at the top. It doesn't look like it, but these are actual starred folders of mine. And at the bottom, you see there's actual starred documents. That's starred documents. Based on how you have your list set up, it's either going to be the folders at the top or the documents at the top. And on the next page, you're going to see how to start a document or a folder. <clears throat> so you would right click on the document, looks like this, and you're going to get this window, the window you see to the left. Then just click on the add to the starred place. Click on add to starred. When you do, the listing that used to have no star next to it, it's going to look like that with a star. Anytime you click on this starred part in the drive, 
you will get to anything. You'll get to the list of all the stuff that you start. You already saw that. Now, another topic, and this is extremely important. This is going to be where activity is going to come in. Make and organize folders for the year. Yes, we do need you to do so, so you'll know where your stuff is. You can store it and be organized, not lose anything. And yes, again, you can always add to and change what you set up at the start of the year. So, again, from your main Google Drive page, you'll click here. It looks like this with the little new button with the multicolored new no, plus sign. When you click on that, a menu pops up. It's going to look something like this. Folder, file upload, folder upload, Google Docs, Google Sheet. That's where you go to click or do any of those things. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the folder link, the one that I highlighted. And when you do, it's going to look like that. Now, this first folder you're creating, you're going to name it 2020-2021 school year. And you click Create. It's going to look like this. It'll show up in your main Google Drive page and look like that. Then you'll go and click on that to go inside that folder. Then you're going to start right-clicking and go into the new folder thing, and you're going to use it to make a folder for each of your classes. Because it's in these folders you can create your own Google Documents for, your, for class that you were not given in your Google Classroom. Or you can move those documents shared by your friends. And it's going to look something like this. English, Math, Science, Social Studies. You can put the exact names of the classes you have. But you may have other classes, so you may need to make more than just those four folders. If you want to know how to move documents shared by your classmates in these folders and you don't understand from the quick little description we've given you, just ask your teacher and they'll be happy to help you. Now, I did not want this little coaching for you to just be my opinions as a teacher. I wanted to ask some students these same things about what to do and keep in mind when using Google Drive. And so there you see it. And I'm not going to read these to you. You can pause the video on your own and read them. But the thing that really surprised me is I only had four students in the last week that gave me answers to this. Three of them pointed out how important it is in Google Drive to have your folders organized. So that kind of tells you that it's really important for folders. And then there's these things. So... Pause the video if you need to, read it, think about it, ask your Panther Time teacher questions, whatever you need to. Bye.